Hey everyone, it is time to play the Guess That Price game, so stick around. I'm Alex Roy, your trusted realtor in Eastside Portland, and it is mid-January, perfect time to play a game we haven't played in a long time, and that's one we are, where we are going to look at the various areas of the Portland metro area and try to guess what was that average sales price in each of these areas for the month of December, which is the most recent data that we have. Are you ready to play? It's great to play along at home. Here's how we do it. I'm gonna pull up all of the possible answers that we could have for each of these areas. North Portland, Northeast Portland, Southeast Portland, West Portland, Lake Oswego, West Lynn, Milwaukee, Clackamas, and Gresham Troutdale. And from those, how do we apply those numbers to be their average sales price in the month of December, 2022? I've got them ranked from, or sorted from uh, lowest to highest. Let's start with the highest number, $820,200. Where was that, the, high, uh, the average sales price for that area? Guess is in, I think you can know this, this is the quick throwaway. Let's see if you're right. It is Lake Oswego, West Lynn, definitely have the highest numbers higher than West Portland, higher than any other area around. That was their numbers for December 2022. Who is next? Let's go with the 741-900. Who had that price? There it is, West Portland. It had to be by default. West Portland is always gonna carry a little bit higher price tag than any other areas of town. But now it gets tricky because we're getting now pretty close. They're all within you know, 90,000 from the lowest to the highest. Where do these go? Where is 540,600? Guesses, guesses. Kapow, it's up in Northeast Portland. Northeast Portland, aside from these two throwaways that are definitely the higher end of the real estate market, Northeast Portland was carrying the highest price tag. The next one, 527,700, that is for Milwaukee Clackamas. Good job, Milwaukee Clackamas. Some of the new construction that we see out in the Clackamas area, holding that up, areas of Milwaukee support some really great average prices. All right, 506, 800, where is that gonna be? North Portland, Southeast Portland, Gresham, Troutdale. I think you know where we're going with this one. Boom, Southeast Portland, 506, 800. All right, and now between North Portland and Gresham Troutdale, who has the higher number? Who is 494 and who is the 553 or 453? Let's check it out. North Portland holding at 494, and that leaves Gresham Troutdale to be 453,800. That's our game, and we can see where the average prices are all around Portland. But how has this changed between December 2021 and December uh, of just this past month, December of 2022? When we're looking at those two different years, we have now entered in what would be the second year in a 10 year housing cycle with the first year where prices have dropped. Now we're gonna to start to see some stabilization. And when we were back in 20, December, 2021, we were still in a buying frenzy. Interest rates were really low. People were buying it up. So where have we seen change around town? You know what? Prices on the average of what's sold in that month have not fallen everywhere. It is true that Definitely, there was a pullback from buying ultra luxury properties down in the uh, Lake Oswego West Lynn area. And so that average price tag definitely fell there. Uh, we also saw that to a much more modest extent a fall in some different areas, but I think it was kind of drastic in Southeast Portland where we, there was a lot more of the lesser priced inventory getting out around to the 120, 160th Ave areas and less of the higher ticket homes closer in on East Side Portland. So it's not just that the housing prices fell, but it's also which houses were purchased that made up that average sales price. That's why I think we see a real drop in that number here in uh, Southeast Portland and also in the Lake Oswego West Lynn area. And then, very interesting that we do actually see an average price appreciation in Northeast Portland and over in the West Hills. That went up significantly where the December of 2021 was only an average of 710,000. Just this past month, it was 741,000 was the average sales price for that month. So we're not seeing housing prices crash everywhere, or at least the way that buyers are being selective in certain areas and where buyers are choosing to purchase and put their money. That's a bit telling. Uh, and I think that's particularly telling over here on the west side of Portland. 
And then just to show how we see where, where are the homes being sold in those certain price ranges, let's take a look here at single family homes in the Portland, east side Portland area. Here I've got downtown, north, uh, southeast, North Portland up over there and getting out to Gresham Trout Deal in this area. These are all the active listings as of yesterday, January 14th, um, where they're under 450 or less. Moving up to the 450 to 75, we see much more of that building up uh, closer in. Um, and hey, a lot more of this price range seen out in this area than there was at this time last year. Uh, you see a lot more of that inventory there, but it's still, it's quite a bit of inventory in this price range, the 450 to 750 price point all across east side Portland. Lots of options out there available right now. And then finally, when we go up to the 750 to one point, uh, one and a quarter million, you're really only seeing that up in some of these northeast areas, right in around Lowellhurst, um, a little bit down into East Moreland, and certainly when we look over on the west side of town, we see more of those higher priced homes. So that's how those dispersions make. Let me just roll through those again. There's the more budget affordable homes, hugging much more along the 205 corridor, dispersed between the 450 to 750 all across the area and higher price homes over on the west side and closer in. That's your market update for the month of January in 2023. Thanks for playing the price game. If you want to talk real estate, if you want more information, if you have real estate goals, I want to help you with them. Click the link in the description of this video to schedule your free consultation, whether it's by phone or you want to meet in person, you can schedule now using the scheduling app to find a time that's perfect for you. I'm Alex Roy, your trusted realtor in Eastside Portland, working hard for your success.